Welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Videos with Nathaniel. Today, we will now solve question 1J of MIT Oxford 2019. Let me draw an equilateral triangle. As you can see, an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. The question says that an equilateral triangle has sides of length 1. So let us draw an equilateral triangle. Its interior angles are all 60 degrees. I'm drawing it big so that I can draw in the diagonals. Now, Pythagoras comes in again. This time, we will draw the diagonals. Actually, we do not. We can disregard the thing about the centre, because the centre is here. And if you want to look that up, there are four ways of defining the centre of a triangle. And they all lie in one line, called the Euler line. Now, this has height, sine, so... You know, Sokatoa, this is 1, this is 1, and this is also 1. Sine 60 degrees, because there are 60 degrees by definition of an equilateral triangle, equals to the square root of 3 over 2. Now, how, what is the height of this here? It's a bit hard to define, so let's go for the lower bit first. Now, this involves a tangent. Tangent 30 degrees, and this if you look at this this diagonal bisects the line so we'll draw it here half so half tangent 30 equals to square root 3 over 6 so what's square root 3 over 2 minus square root 3 over 6 it is square root 3 over 3 so we'll write that here hey if you look at it this is exactly twice root 3 over 6 the question says that we need to draw a line through the center and we need to find the minimum length of the line which crosses two sides. Of course, you the first instinct is to draw this diagonal, which we have seen has a height of root 3 over 2, which is approximately 0 0.866. Since this is two, one third way up the triangle and this is two thirds, so this line will be 2 thirds times 1 equals to 2 thirds. And you don't remember your fractions, it will amount to as 0 0.667. This is a quick refresher on fractions for some of you who can't remember. And obviously, this is the mi minimum distance required. Hey, have a look at that. This is option D. There we have it. This is an equilateral triangle. We learned something about its centers, its diagonals, and some of its heights. I, in my free time, have actually computed this for a tetrahedron and a four-dimensional analog on the tetrahedron called the five cell. And as you might expect, the results involve a square root of six and a square root of ten, respectively. And the and the tetrahedron involves root 6s and root 2s, and the 5 cell includes root 10s and root 5s. You might see that in my Facebook post where you say, guess the shape, where there is a square root 6 and square root 2, and there's a tetrahedron. And I also done a table privately with lots of root 10s and root 5s about the 5 cell. This is a quick refresher for 1J MIT Oxford 2019. See you! Bye!